Okay, so she is mom to the hottest, and I mean hottest, boy band in the country. Uh, soon to be man band. Maybe they are a man band already. These three young men who have taken the country by storm and are bona fide rock stars. We are talking about the Jonas Brothers. Yes, those Jonas Brothers. But behind the curtain, one of the brothers has been battling type 1 diabetes, and now Denise Jonas is hoping to raise awareness about the disease and increase education. Denise joins us this morning to talk more about it. Good morning to you, Denise. Good morning. Thank you for having me today. You know, let me start with this. Isn't it weird to have, you know, young girls and young women just kind of looking at your boys and, and they just start screaming and crying and shaking and falling out on the ground? I mean, you're the mom. They're your boys. You changed those dirty diapers. <laughs> we did, didn't we? And, <laughs> and you know what? I think you're probably just like I am and you just adore your sons. And, you know, I love that the world gets to see the, what they're talents and gifts are and that they've had the opportunity provided them to get to explore that and, and really fulfill their dreams in this way. So never gets old and I never get tired of hearing those screams. It really, it always just makes my heart smile. Mm -hmm. Now I know one of your sons, Nick Jonas, has type 1 diabetes and many fans probably don't even know this. Tell us about your personal experience caring for a child with type 1 diabetes. Well, you know, Nick is uh, an amazing person. He he's He's always been, we always call him an old soul, and he was always ahead of the game, really. We, he, he kept us on our toes when he was really young, and uh, he he's just so self-sufficient. So when this type 1 diabetes um, occurred in our lives, and when it happened to him when he was 13, really just kind of blindsided us. and. Um, we just weren't prepared for it. We didn't know anyone who had type 1 diabetes. We didn't know anything about it. It wasn't something that ran in our family. However, um, Nick made a decision um, within minutes of when he was diagnosed that he was going to make a difference, that he wanted to really help and be a voice because he wasn't going to let it slow him down, nor did he think it should slow anyone else that had this down. And um, we've just embraced that as a family, as parents. I'm thrilled as a mother that I get to share and have a voice um, and to encourage other parents and moms. And, and that's why I've, I'm teaming up with this collaboration between Lily Diabetes, Disney Online, and Disney Publishing Worldwide. And I know there have been many triumphs and setbacks. And it's one thing, you know, to be the parent and be the confidant and be that shoulder to cry on or the person mm. even to laugh with in the good times. <laughs> but for Nick, how does this interfere, if at all, with his touring and his singing and his acting? You know, that's that's a great question, and I'm sure a lot of people have it. The thing, the key is it, it hasn't interfered. It really, and, and that's what Nick's message has always been, and that's really what I, I would like to say as well and share with parents that this doesn't have to interfere. Um, it doesn't have to change your life in such a drastic way that you can't achieve your, your dreams and goals. And, and that's that. That's what this collaboration between these companies is about. Well, we are so glad to talk with you this morning because uh, we're doing this diabetes series ourselves here oh, on the Balancing great. Act with the Diabetes Research Institute Foundation, whose mission is to find mm -hmm. a cure for children and adults living with diabetes. And I know you've got a very important collaboration going on as well with mm -hmm. Lily Diabetes, Disney Online, and Disney Publishing Worldwide. Why is this collaboration so significant? significant you know we had that heart in the beginning as a family to really inspire people encourage people we knew we were going to be on the road traveling a lot and when Nick decided to share his story we did everything we try to continue to do everything we can and make every effort to encourage people and this collaboration is so significant because they too have that the, that the heart of what they want to do is achieve that they want to inspire families they want to encourage people they want to educate uh, people especially caregivers uh, you know it's a family it's a family thing it's a family need when, when one member is diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and you have to work together really to be successful and this collaboration is making that um, possible by the different resources that they're making available through the website uh, family.com slash type 1 and through their their books that are being offered through healthcare providers what do you mean by help families find the magic mm -hmm. in everyday moments? You know, uh, it can be a very dark thing in your life when you have type 1 diabetes. You can feel overwhelmed. Um, you, as a parent, you can feel overwhelmed because your child has it. Uh, and, and the whole concept of this collaboration is really 
it doesn't have to be that way, and you can find the magic in, in the littlest things. And really, part of the way we want people to understand that and express that is through entering this contest that launches this collaboration, which is um, Once Upon a Time Contest, which the website is the same name, onceuponatimecontest.com, where we want families, uh, caregivers, to share their personal experience, of why their child has inspired them through type 1 diabetes. We want them to share it with us in any written form, like a poem or a short story. Be creative. I, I, I'm not a writer myself, but I know people that are, and they do amazing things. Mm. Well, I have to tell you, this is important information to get out there, Denise, because people may look at you and Nick and your family and think, well, they can afford treatment or they have better mm. options because they're the Jonas family. No. What type of resources will be available to families? You know, uh, through the Disney publishing, there's a provided a great, there'll be a great series of books um, that were, uh, that will do speak to children and of all ages with type 1 diabetes in all different stages. The, the first in the series is really precious. It's with the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse series. And Mickey has a little buddy, a little sweet girl co named Coco. She's a, a little girl monkey. And, and I love this story. I, I, I've read it and I just, I think it's just fabulous how uh, they portray understanding type one diabetes understanding it's really challenging especially in the beginning and I love how clearly they make it and Denise finally before we let you go what are your boys up to these days Oh, well, you know, Joe has a great solo project um, that's upcoming. He's got a great solo song out there. It's available, you know, on iTunes, and is, uh, uh, it's just fabulous. Nick's, Nick's doing a lot of producing these days, and Kevin and his wife are, are really doing a lot of really fun things, a lot of things in the mix there. And little Frankie, he's working crazy, too. He has a, um, a movie that's going to be coming out this fall, and uh, he's a little voice on the, the Spooky Buddies movie. You look for that in September. So I'm excited that they're doing some really fun things things on their own and they're they'll they're still do things together all the time <laughs> <laughs> well Denise it was so good to see you thanks so much for joining us on the show this morning well you're lovely thank you